mean that functions are inverses of each other? Well, what it means is that if you take your initial value, you put it into your function, and then you take that quantity, you put it into your inverse function, you get back the original value. It's kind of like if you take like a number and you multiply it by seven, and then you divide it by seven, you get back that original number because multiplying and dividing, they're inverse functions, right? Or if you square something, square root, or add, subtract, those are all inverses of each other. But the way that we test, you know, algebraically that functions are inverses of each other or, or verify or prove or show is to use this method here of composition of functions. Uh, f of g of x, if you compose these two and you get x, or g of f of x and you get x, again, all that's saying is, is that, you know, we put in x, we get our output, we put it into the other function, and we it takes us back to the original quantity, uh, which was x, and we wanna make sure we do it in both orders. So you wanna do it both f of g of x as well as g of f of x. If you get x for both, then you've uh, successfully proved that the functions are inverses of each other. So let's do some examples and you'll see how this works. So example number one, we've got f of x equals two x minus seven. So the first thing that I just wanna show you is how do you calculate or uh, find the inverse of this function. Well, f of x you can think of as y, okay? y is like your output. But what you do when you find an inverse is you switch the x and the y. Wherever you see x, you put y. Wherever you see you know, y, you put x. You just you interchange the x and the y. Then what you wanna do is you wanna solve for the new y. So I'm gonna add seven to both sides, divide everything by two, and now you can see we get y equals x plus seven over two. Now instead of y, I'm gonna use this f inverse notation, see that minus one, uh, to you know, basically indicate that it's the inverse of this original function here. Okay, but now if we wanna verify you know, that they're actually inverses, say for example, they gave us these two functions and said, are they inverses of each other? What we wanna do is we wanna say, okay, let's, let's check f of f inverse of x. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our inverse function, which is x plus seven over two, we're gonna put it into our f function, which is two times x minus seven. So again, remember the way functions work. Whatever's in parentheses goes in place of x on the right side of the equation. So we're just gonna replace x with the new x value, the new input, and we're gonna simplify. Now notice that when you multiply by two, you divide by two, these are inverses, they cancel. So we're down to x plus seven minus seven. Seven and negative seven, those cancel. We just get x. So you don't wanna just stop there though, we wanna also compose it the other way as well. So here we did f, f inverse of x. Now let's do f inverse f of x. So now we're gonna take our f of x function, two x minus seven, we're gonna put it into our f inverse function, and that's this one here. So whatever's in the parentheses, that's gonna go in place of x on the right. So we've got two x minus seven, I put that in place of x there, plus seven more, right, all divided by two. Well, you can see negative seven and positive seven, those are canceling. Two x divided by two, the twos are gonna cancel, and you're just left with x. So you can see when we compose it in both orders, we got x for both, and you've successfully proved or verified that those functions are inverses.